One of the best things that you can do when you're looking for a job is connect with alumni. Why? Well, because you already have something in common. And once you're connected, they may be able to introduce you to the gateway people that you need to meet, people at companies, um, influential people. They themselves are probably influential. And so that connection can only help you get to the people that you need to get to in order to find your new job. Of course, the first thing that you have to do is find them. So here's the simple steps to find, connect, and engage with the right people through LinkedIn's alumni search. Step one is simply clicking on the search box and looking for your school. And by the way, this works for other people's schools as well. Start typing the name of your school in the box and then just choose the school from the dropdown. If you don't see it, you can click on the magnifying glass and that will take you into LinkedIn search. And then all you have to do is click on schools and that will refine your search for you. In many cases, the university you're searching for may have other divisions or campuses, so just make sure that you choose the right one. Now just click on the university, and that's going to take you to the home page. And from the home page, all you have to do is click on See Alumni, and that will take you to the alumni search. From the alumni search, you can either put in dates that they might have attended, or if you're actually looking for alumni that you attended, you can always add the dates that they graduated as well. And from there, you can go to the keyword search up here and just put in keywords or areas of expertise that you're looking for. So in this case, I put marketing and sales in there. LinkedIn will also allow you to sort by where they live, where they work, and what they do. And if you don't see the results you want, you can click on see more. See, there's some more results down there. Additionally, if you click on next, it will also show you what they studied and what they're skilled at. So if I wanted to refine my search, I would choose maybe people in the US, and then I would maybe wanna look at people who worked at Google, Let's look at Amazon, and let's take a look at Facebook, and maybe Apple as well. And what the heck, we're on LinkedIn. Let's go ahead and click on LinkedIn too. Then I can look for people in business development, operations, sales, and marketing. So you can see what I've searched on and the results. And then all I have to do is scroll down to see those alumni. Now, the really cool thing about LinkedIn is that I actually have the ability to see these alumni's profiles. Once I've clicked on through um, alumni to the person that I'm interested in, I can you know, read their summary section, I can see who we have in common, what groups we have in common. I can follow that person's activity. And that gives me a lot more information to include in my first message or invitation to connect. So speaking of connecting, let's take a look at some different ways that we can engage with alumni on LinkedIn. If they're first level connection, meaning you're already connected, you can just send them a message and it might say something like, hey, it's been ages, I just found you on LinkedIn, what have you been up to in the past four years? Before you blurt out that you're looking for a job, try for a little online conversation first. Review their profiles, see what you have in common, what you've been working on, what they're saying in their updates, and reference that. And with LinkedIn's messaging feature, your message to them could pop up and grab their attention. Let the engagement begin. As soon as possible, try and get a phone call with them. And if that doesn't work, then you might let them know that you're looking for a job. You can see more in our videos on communicating with new connections and communicating to deepen your relationships about best practices. But I'll give you a few more here as well. Because this is a message, you can add your phone number, hyperlinks, your email address. In connection requests, you cannot. So if there's someone that you're not yet connected to, but you do know them, just click on the connect button and always add a personalized note to the invitation. 
And you can say something like, hey, it's been a long time. I was just on LinkedIn and saw your profile. Do you want to connect? And then add your name and your phone number. Remember, email addresses won't work in an invitation. And you're limited to 300 characters. But, you know, this is just 110 characters or so. If it's someone that you went to school with, but you don't know them, just fess up. Hey, I see you were at Harvard at the same time I was, but I don't think we ever met. I just found you on LinkedIn and was hoping you would be open to connecting here. Or even more simply, hi, I see we're both alumni of Harvard circa 1998 to 2008. Um, I was hoping you were open to connecting on LinkedIn. And then again, name and phone number. If it's someone from another school that you didn't go to, you can still invite them to connect. You might say something like, hi, I was checking out the Harvard alumni or whatever school you're looking at, and I see that you were there from 1999 to 2002. Would you like to connect? You're not saying you're not alumni. You're not saying you are alumni. You're just saying that you saw them there. So you can see how powerful this can be. The alumni search is a little hack that really helps you find the right people to get you to your next internship or position. So that's all you have to do. Go to LinkedIn, click on the school in the search, go to the school's homepage, find the alumni, sort through the different fields and find exactly who you're looking for, and then reach out either through an invitation to connect or through a message and then let the engagement begin. Those are the six simple steps that will help you to find, connect, and engage with exactly the right people who can help you get your next job.